Dear introverted intuitive feeler, I'm making this video today to remind you that you are not responsible for the pain that your parents experienced in their lives. You know, many of us grow up um, with that kind of model of traumatized parents. They often unintentionally teach us that being in love means taking responsibility for each other's past pain. And in essence, that then means that we learn to take responsibility for something that we have no power over. And that, of course, is other people's emotional landscape. And I wanted to jump on this video to remind you that you have the right to break free from your parents' pain and you have the right to stop normalizing the, blur the blurred boundaries of blame that they may have taught you. You know, you didn't cause their pain. You didn't cause the pain that they had before you were even born. And you're not required to pay the price for that pain. You can put that wallet down. Relationships in general, they're living and evolving entity that challenges us to really look at our wounds, all of us. You know, our parents had those relationships with each other, whatever way uh, their per relationship played out. And we have the same. We, you know, for better or worse, tend to pair up with people who give us those opportunities to work through our childhood pain. And this, of course, is true for our parents too, and their parents, and their parents before, and so on. So if you think about that friend um, whose father was an alcoholic and who always seems to end up in relationships with people who are you know, addicted to something, booze or weed or computer games or porn. You know, that friend has given, has been given countless opportunities, as many opportunities as they've had relationships to put down that wallet, to stop that generational hurt. And perhaps that friend's father was ignoring her because drinking was his main focus. And that was certainly true for me. Perhaps she felt unseen and unheard. And if it goes to as far as it did for me, my father told me in no, no uncertain terms that I was the reason why he's unhappy in life. And of course, that's <laughs> not true at all. I had, I was just a child. Uh, I had nothing else. To, like, how could I be uh, responsible for a grown up person's emotional landscape? It's completely unrealistic. But if you think about that friend, you know, maybe she felt unseen and unheard. And each of her subsequent partners, you know, each of her partners and subsequent partners after the first one who struggled with addiction, they're giving her an opportunity to stop carrying the wounding that uh, drove her father to drink. So for me, anytime I've been in a relationship with a person who struggles with any kind of an addiction, it's my opportunity to grow, to heal that and stop carrying that wounding that my father had. And each time I have those relationships, it gives me a chance to heal the misconception that I am not important. The same way it gives your friend an opportunity. Each of those relationships gives your friend, friend an opportunity to say, I'm not the reason why you're unhappy. To really let go of that misconception that she's not important. She is important, and I would even go as far as to say she needs to claim her value and her worth. And that can be one of the hardest things to do. So having the tools to, to claim your power rarely comes from those parents that taught you uh, that you're unworthy. It kind of makes sense that um, it would be a miracle if those parents who gave you the wounding would be able to show you how to heal it. 
you know, it also would be quite the miracle if you were able to single-handedly change the tidal wave of, of generational disempowerment with just the tools that you learned from your parents. You know, when you're breaking free from your parents' pain, you need to learn new skills to really be there for yourself in a way that they weren't. And I want to say again, this is not a session for bagging your parents. You get to choose how you feel about your parents. I don't have a judgment about your parents. Um, that's your job to have that opinion. But I will say that knowing that something's wrong is just not enough. Knowing that, you know, your parents did their best, but their best wasn't good enough is a starting point, but it's not enough to change anything. You know, we, if we want to break free from our parents' pain, we need to learn new skills and tools. And we need to learn how to use them. There's no point having a shed full of tools if you don't know how to use any of them or if you only use hammer for everything. So knowing is not enough. We must change what we do so that we can change the outcome of the situation. And I got to say, you know, with all that pain that's going around, it's been my absolute pleasure to remind so many children of addicts like myself um, of how valuable they are, how worthy they are, and help them to claim that power and show them how to state their power and how to claim it and put it in practice. And it's been an absolute privilege to see how that has changed their lives and how it's transformed their relationships. I'm telling you this because if you've experienced intergenerational pain that's been passed down to you, you're worthy of breaking that pattern. You have the right to end that pain. <sighs> if you've struggled with breaking free from that generational place pain, please know, please know that you're not alone. And I wanted you to hear that because it's hard to break that pattern, but also because you matter. We need you to be you. Remember who you are. Remember your worth. Remember that you have the power to change it. And if you need help, ask for it. You're worth it. I'll see you at the next one. You look after yourself. <laughs>